Hey, hey guys, never fear, Snake is here, Sunday Cigar Time, coming to you from St. Augustine, Florida. Hope you're doing well today, again, just trying to bring some encouragement to my little corner of the world. It's spitting some rain here, so I'm standing under the garage here at the Bat Cave. I'm going to talk to you today about knowing your worth. Do you know your worth? I got an email last night saying that uh, I was no longer eligible for a job I had applied for last week. Part of the application process was taking a test online, one of those 150 question tests where they ask you these kind of work situation related questions like in this scenario do you strongly disagree, not sure, strongly disagree, one of those kind of things that somewhere some psychology wonk decided this was a great way to discern who was a qualified candidate to work at X company. Well apparently I failed this test. <laughs> Kiss my black Irish. I digress. Got me to thinking though because initially it's like, oh God, what, what could, could I have done better? You know, what did I do wrong? Jeez, am I ever going to find a better job, etc. And it got me to thinking, you know, wait a minute, hang on here. There are a lot of qualities I have that are quite good. A lot of skills that I have. Eventually someone is going to to realize my worth, my value, and want to bring me on board. Life will oftentimes give us those situations where we end up questioning our worth. Uh, it might come from a job, a, a spouse, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a, a family member. Uh, who knows? I encourage you, if this has happened to you, if this applies to you, take stock of your worth. Maybe get a pad, uh, uh, a pen, write down your strong suits. I actually looked up synonyms for the word worth. Very interesting. I encourage you to do the same. Make a list. Write down what you're good at. Uh, all, all of the things about you that you think are exceptional. Let's say them out loud. Let your mind hear what your, what your mouth is speaking. Today at church, our, our pastor, our bishop, Dr. Paul Kreitz, uh, mentioned a phrase he's mentioned several times. Go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. And that's great advice. I encourage you to go where you are celebrated, not just simply tolerated. Anyway, that's what I've got. I uh, hope that helps you. Again, if you like the video, like it. Feel free to share it with anyone that you think might benefit from it. Again, I'll see you next week. In the meantime, take care. I'm going to slither back in here to the bat cave. Maybe put some sting on the boombox. Feeling like a little sting today. All right. You take care. See you next week. Take care. God bless.